Let's look at some JQL to help you find issues relating to specific sprints. We're going to look at a few functions that JQL provides us with that include open sprints, future sprints, and closed sprints. So for the examples I'm going to walk you through here, I've set up a project with some closed sprints, which of course you can't see on the backlog, one active sprint, DX Sprint 3, and a sprint that's planned for the future, DX Sprint 4. Now with a standard JQL approach, you can use the project equals DX and then conditional logic add sprint equals and the name of the sprint. But that means the sprint you've defined is hard coded. So this is not great if you want to use it as a say filter or you want to use it basis of a report, which is why we might want to use a function that Jira provides us with like sprint in and then you can use the function open sprints. So this query will work even when we close the current sprint and move on to the next sprint, we will still get all of the stories and issues for the open sprint. You can reduce the syntax here because this function actually will take a project. So in the parentheses, you can put the project name and this will search for all issues in the DX project that are in the open sprint. And this will accept a list too, so you can use many projects as parameters to this open sprints function. Now, of course, depending on how you have your Jira instance set up, when you search for open sprints in a project, by default, you will only get stories for the single sprint that is in play. If you have your project set up under here, products, and you have the parallel sprints enabled, then of course you can run with multiple sprints within one project and this would return many issues across the open sprints within the project. Now in this particular project, we have got on our backlog a future sprint defined, DX Sprint 4 with three stories in it. And for this, we can use the function sprint in future sprints. And again, if we put the project name in the parameter, we can see the stories that are assigned to future sprints. And if you've got many future sprints, you'll get stories across multiple sprints. But of course, you won't have issues that are included on the backlog if they're not assigned to a sprint. The final function to look at then is the closed sprints function. So this will show you all issues on sprints that are closed. And again, we can filter by a particular project. The thing to watch out for here is that an issue can be linked with many sprints. So in the example I have set up for you here, if we look at the backlog, and I have this current sprint in play, three issues are closed, and one issue is still being worked on. And if I view the active sprint, and complete the sprint, that active issue that was in an incomplete state can be moved to the next sprint. But what that leaves us with, if we go back to the project and the backlog, is not only that issue now on the current sprint, but it is also tracked against the old sprint. And again, if you come in and we'll see that this particular user story was in sprint three, but when we closed that sprint, it was moved to sprint four. So it's actually contained within or linked to two sprints. And the implication here is that when we start this sprint that now contains this DX4 
issue. But when we go back and see our closed sprint JQL, DX4 is in this list, but it's also listed in the open sprints. So this issue, because it's been moved from one sprint to the next, is returned in both the closed sprints and the open sprints query. If you want to exclude the issue from the closed sprint that will move to the open sprint, then you need to be a bit smarter with your JQL here, and you can do sprint in closed sprints and sprint not in open sprints. So what this list shows us is just the issues that were completed in previous sprints. If you like, it's a list of what's been finished in sprints. So if you're using JQL to search for issues in sprints, there are four key queries you need. Sprint in open sprints, sprint in future sprints, sprint in closed sprints, where issues that you might still be working on will show up. And to get only the issues that you completed in closed sprints, use the conditional and logic with the closed sprints and the sprint not in open sprints function. Mm -hmm.